Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another episode. Dave Rodriguez here, one of the head traders inside the Alliance community. Quick shout out to everybody watching the video today. Definitely appreciate that support. Make sure you guys mash that subscribe button and hit that bell if you haven't already. All the newbie viewers watching today, as always, at the end of the video, we are giving away free value. Uh, today it's going to be a free ebook. It's called the Cryptocurrency Consumer Guide. It has all our best kept secrets. Tons of key strategies, uh, a lot of things you guys want to know, some key things you guys are going to know, want to know in order to start making money quicker inside this market. So we'll jump right in today. Start today with a little article um, in regards to something we spoke to before about the Samsung S10 um, and a little bit more about the opportunity that I think they're bringing to crypto by doing what they're doing because they are such a seasoned international massive corporation. That is now getting involved in blockchain. Um, you know, uh, they could be paving the way for global adoption with their new S10 phone that has a built in crypto wallet that can support your private keys. Now, Samsung is bringing crypto to non crypto people, which is something I think is very important. Now, according to their reports and sales last year, Samsung sold 30 million phones, and that's even. And then even though that wallet won't be used by everybody, all 30 million people, the option will no doubt be available for them. So that's something to uh, really take into account that it will be readily available. And uh, even though it's not the safest thing in the world to keep all your crypto on your phone, we're going to get into that a little bit later on why I think that's important to it, have the availability of having crypto on your phone to be able to spend. So Samsung is basically setting the pace for the competition. Even though they're not the first company to build a blockchain type phone, um, they're definitely the largest. You know, HTC Exodus actually um, is a phone that has a built-in cold storage wallet and distributed ledger consensus. Regardless of the success Samsung will bring to cryptocurrencies, it suggests an increasing number of crypto adoption stories in the coming months or maybe even years in particular mainstream corporate names like Samsung um, getting involved in crypto so you know introducing crypto wallets is just to begin is just to start of something bigger which we touched on just a minute ago even though there are companies like 10x and BitPay uh, to name a few that allow you to actually transfer crypto and spend on a debit card um, just about anywhere Visa is accepted people want easier availability they want easier accessibility you know like it being right there on their phone having a crypto wallet also means consumers can finally start using cryptocurrencies for everyday use you know prior to Samsung introducing wallet capabilities we all needed um, an app called coinbase to store our Bitcoin but it's just really impractical if you think about it now uh, Im imagine you know Samsung integrating crypto into Samsung pay I mean, that could be a whole different ball game, making it like an international exchange that can simply um, liquidate Bitcoin in a fiat like on the go. You know what I mean? Effectively using crypto to pay for things. You know, we could definitely expect others to follow suit. And I thought that was pretty important for us to kind of touch base on some of the ways they're breaking down walls for crypto adoption. So let's jump right in. Let's jump right into Bitcoin real quick. We are starting to see a little more bullish action. As you can see, you know, this retest candle or indecision candle, like a spinning top, has been sitting right on the psychological level of 4,000 we've been talking about. If we're using the bodies of the candles, we are outside the wedge. We are currently, you know, working our way up. As you can see, there's a small uptrend happening here with these bodies. As you can see here. Okay. And now we've seen a little bullish action here. Now we could break this down in the four hour to kind of see what's really happening in the trenches here. And we're seeing a spike to these levels again. Again, we have this area that we need to break outside of. We haven't really been able to get outside this area. Now we're seeing a candle break upwards, but it doesn't mean anything until it remains, you know, two and a half hours from now. If we can see this remain green up in these areas, we are going to see some nice bullish action and we'll see the next leg continue up so keep an eye on this candle right here now that we've finally seen a move and it's crazy because it's Saturday which is you know the weekends are usually low volume days so to see this spike is nice but we can also see something a little more clear too, as well so if you look here we've got the red supporting the last you know four candles 
Red supporting the last four candles broke down, broke back up, exploded out of the top, broke these highs here. The, the red and the green are pointing up. You know, this could be a sign that they're just going to follow this, this uh, MA, this 18 MA, and they're going to follow it all the way up. They're going to continue the uptrend. Crossed over, crossed over again, continuing the uptrend here. Um, on the daily, MA, same thing. They're being supported. Haven't really tested it yet, so that could be totally possible, but they're, they're, they're nicely separated, which is a great thing. The farther the separation, the, the better the trend. So it looks like we're in a nice uptrend. Everything is pointing in the upper direction. And then you can see the targets up and above, up here with the 200 EMA, which is you know going to be another target of ours. But I can see this thing spiking up and out, which will be great. I see some other setups that I thought were, were nice, something we've been following. Um, Ethereum was another one. We finally saw that spike. We've been talking about this area for a while. This is the daily and we've been holding underneath the 200 MA very well. We've spiked up, spiked down. Now we've spiked through and we've actually pierced not only the channel wall, but as well as the 200 MA for the time being. So if we could finish off the day above the 200 MA outside the channel wall, Ethereum will hit our next target. So as you can see, we had a nice wedge pattern here. We can put it on the outside. You can do it really any way you want. You'll get the same result here that we had a nice breakout. That that makes the most sense there. Had a nice breakout. Breakout, the retest. We're not only holding the MAs, but we've exploded and broke this high. So Ethereum is on its way to the next target. And if we go back to the daily chart, which is where we want to plan everything out, we have Ethereum targets, long-term targets, in these areas, 45,000 and 50,000 Satoshis. So anything that happens in between is just fluff. We can see a test of this area here at 40,700, test back down, and an explosion to new levels that will be met as long as these technicals and the market holds up. Another thing I thought was very interesting, Tron. Tron is uh, doing something very interesting. We're on the daily chart. Tron has broken up, came back down, retraced to the 61.8. It's holding above the 200 MA. Okay, Tron was below the 200 MA since July of 2018. Has broken above it and is holding. Broken down below and is holding. As you can see, the red and the blue are about to cross again. This is going to be a bullish motion. And if you can see, we are outside of this bearish channel here using the bodies. We're outside of this bearish channel. We had a small break here, a retest. We are not only about to cross the MAs, the 8 and the 18, over the 200, which is a very bullish sign, but the 200 is also holding these candles up. Broke down below. It was holding up. Holding up, broke down below, retested back above the 200 MA, and right now the 200 MA is holding it as very nice support, and we're seeing some bullish action. So these areas in here are going to hold us down, but we need to see that nice green candle spike up and out as well, um, and that would give us the extra confirmation we needed. But I'm telling you, on 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 the next day candle that paints, these candles are not these MAs are not only going to cross. Well, actually, they've crossed right here. They've not only crossed, but they're going to come back up and cross over the 200 MA, which is an extremely bullish sign here for Tron. Um, Tron had some very bullish news the other day uh, as far as their transactions for the day. Um, so look up that as well. It's very positive for them. Um, Tron's been doing very well. Not a big fan myself, but you can't deny these technicals here as far as making the higher highs, holding above this. Now this could fall, so that's why we wait for that candle to print um, and, and just show us that we are gonna see some extra bullish actions. For those of you that are holding this token and this coin, um, you know, this could be, could be some good news for you in the near future. So guys, that's all we have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Those of you that are new or haven't taken advantage of the ebook, Look in the description below, click the link, it's the BitcoinConsumerGuide.com forward slash YT.
that's like YouTube. Click that link. Get your free ebook. There's also um, some free stuff you guys cannot miss by Cody Sperber himself, the clever investor. He's going to explain it all to you in the video right after we give you guys that free ebook. So don't miss out. Go ahead and click that link below, and we'll see you guys tomorrow on the next Bitcoin Breakdown.